So yesterday in the news, I saw something that really, really upset me.、Mm. And so this happened in Italy, and there's a lot of uproar about it. So there is a girl in an Italian school、uh, in Rome. She was 17 years old, and、um, it says that a caretaker, school care- caretaker, groped her. So what happened is he put his hand either in her like pants, like outside of her underwear,、What? or like inside her underwear. And so this、uh, particular individual went to court. Obviously, was arrested. Well, guess what the judge said. He said, "Oh, but only because it was under ten seconds. It's not sexual assault, and、What? therefore he was allowed to go free." Excuse me. Dude,、yeah. no way. I mean, I say, hey,、wow. I can kick you in the groin for under ten seconds too. Yeah,、What、I can stab you for、world? under ten seconds or well, whatever. Like, oh, it's not the murder. The damage is done. It's <laughs> like if my daughter or something happened to her. Yeah, you wouldn't flash it a child <laughs> with an image that they shouldn't see for under ten seconds. What? Why would you touch somebody and it's okay? So what do you get? Punishment? Nothing. No. Nothing. No. He was free to go because it was considered under ten seconds, so it was considered not sexual assault by the judge. Why are they getting hung up on the time frame? I don't know. And you talk to a lot of、yeah. victims, and they're like, it seemed like time stopped, right? And it lasted for eternity, and he's hung、mm-hmm. up on ten、wow, seconds. Wow. Yeah, that girl literally experienced trauma. And like her body's been touched without permission.、Mm. It, she was a minor. She was seventeen, underage. He、Whoa. was. He should be considered a pedophile. Right. And he's not. I don't know how that community in Rome operates, but if it was some community <clears throat> here, they would have taken matters into their own hands. What was the public response to that? Yeah. I mean, to、know? me, I mean, Europe. I mean, I know some liberal stuff, or whatever. But I mean, what do you think about, you know, values of family or something like that? I mean, I mean, Ila. I mean. I mean, I don't know what kind of city it was. Yeah, it was Rome. Oh, it was Rome. Rome. Yeah.、Uh, what was、yeah. the response of the community? It doesn't say. Well, it, the only thing it says is that lots of celebrities are speaking out, and they're now posting ten-second videos where they're touching themselves to show you how long ten seconds actually is. Ten、mm-hmm. seconds、so、is a long time. Let, let's just count to ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Yeah, by four, I was already uncomfortable. That、mm. just put that into perspective. That for those ten seconds, somebody has their hands in your underpants, and you can't do anything about it.、Uh, That's a long wow, time.、Dude. Even one second. I mean, I mean, I don't want to be too graphic, but can you imagine one second and something not appropriate to do、mm-hmm. that somebody's、yeah. doing to you with not your permission, crossing I mean, boundaries and all of that? That people, is people throw money at women to get a flash. That's less than ten seconds. So apparently,、yeah. you can get your joys or whatever in in, in that amount of time. Yeah, that's, crazy, that's really、man. sad. No, it's really sad. It's crazy world.、So、that's, and, yeah, we're in a crazy time for sure. And then the question is, like, is this man going to do it again? Well, it's well, very、sure. likely. Hey, I can、sure. do it and not get in trouble. Yeah. Oh, Be- as long as I do it under ten seconds, I、yeah. can do whatever I want. Yeah, because now the、uh, the police or something. I mean. It's fine under ten seconds. I don't think I'm gonna be going to jail.、Mm-hmm. The sad thing is when victims experience this kind of、uh, well behavior from other people, they often get re-traumatized because now they are victimized,、uh, or, or the the perpetrator gets set free and he's seen as oh you poor thing you know,、yeah. and then the victim is is yeah it's re-traumatized like, and they're how, seen as bad. Yeah,、like、you should never report it. How dare you waste、it. the time of the. City and the government and the jury and yeah for ten seconds yeah that's what they're looked at、that's、empowering the wrong pre- person empowering、yeah. the perpetrator instead of the victim and then yeah you're right it does send send a message it's like why even call the cops what's the point or、yeah. why drag myself through this public humili- humiliation when justice is not going to be served yeah well that's a sign of the times you know lawlessness we're coming to a time they defund the police lawlessness all this stuff you can touch people you can. It's insane, dude. The laws are getting nuts. Well, that's really nice. They at least、uh, the celebrities, you know, they're doing、mm-hmm. some videos, something like that. I mean, that's I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, sometimes those kind of people, they don't. I mean, you know, they they don't do anything or something like that. But it's really nice that they doing those kind of videos. You talked about being angry, and the Bible talks about like righteous anger,、yes. right? So, what do you do with that? What do you do with those emotions, those feelings, when you see this injustice happening?、Mm. Gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Pray <laughs> a the, lot. Head rub, Alex. Don't even look at me right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't have. This is a seventeen-year-old girl. 
Yeah. She's parents. It's not, uh, you, you, know? you said you're 25. I'm 29. It's not that long ago that well, we Alex were 17. Alex has a daughter Actually, 17, <laughs> right? My daughter is 18, yeah. turning 19, and so, my yeah. oldest daughter is 20. And the judge is like, oh, what's oh. 10 seconds? I, I remember that when I was 17, mm. I was just, you know, just going throughout life, not really knowing what I'm doing. And, you know, you're really innocent. Mm -hmm. You're innocent. You're, just, you're still a child. Mm. You think that you've got it all and you think you're cool and you rule the world, but you really don't. Your, your brain is still developing. Mm. So this has still a huge learning. impact. Yeah. It takes half a second to break trust. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. So not half only trust so with that person who attacked mm. her, but trust in the system, lack mm -hmm. of trust in her country, lack of, I mean, cause this is public. So yeah. I'm sure there's opinions on both sides. Like, oh yeah, it's great that he's free versus all oh, he needs to be, you know, put under the jail. And it's like, so now there's lack of trust in the internet and all just all this stuff. I can't even imagine what she's going through as a 17 year old girl. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing like you were saying is public and everything, even if it's just uh, uh, privacy, right? You still think about those images and what you felt That's and right. blah, 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 you know, all the stuff. Now is her naming, all picturing everything is all over mm -hmm. the world. Viral, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, how do you think she's feeling? Yeah. You know, a, a couple so. of years ago, I I was donating plasma regularly um, here in Chattanooga, and I remember I told Kenny this story. But I drove up with my car, and here is my car, and then there was a free parking spot, and there was a van right next to it. And I got out and I was about to walk to the plasma donation center when some dude in a van was like, hey, do you donate here? And I was like, yeah. And I start walking toward their van because I was like, oh, you know, the South, we're friendly. I just wanted to if you had any questions. Fortunately, a friend of mine had told me about a similar experience she had had in Uluwa at a gas station at night where um, some van full of men tried to lure her to their van to fill up gas. And they and she was like, no, I'll just give you money. They're like, no, no, you need to come here. Mm -hmm. And apparently Nashville, Chattanooga, where we're at right now is a sex trafficking hotspot. Yeah. So I remember that from her and I the, the Lord showed it to me. I walked into the van and it was this dude with a dude next to him. And as I looked to the through the back windows, which were tinted by the way, so I, you know, like Can purposefully you can't see it, but mm -hmm. I still, I saw the, the shadow of all of these men it was wow. loaded and i stopped in my tracks and i walked off and i remember coming home that night pulling my blankets over myself being like oh my gosh i'm yeah. home like i'm actually in my own bed and i was meeting up with a friend after and i was in complete shock and all of a sudden i just start crying i was like what in the world just happened yeah. i almost got kidnapped very likely for sex trafficking yeah. and it still bugs me up until today there's still mm -hmm. times when i see a van and i'm you know, like, urgh, you know, I'm uncomfortable with it, <laughs> but I wasn't touched by them and right. it affected me, right. you know, wow. so it, it affects you. Yeah. She's going to have a lot of trust issues. Uh, men, you know, she's not going to trust men and yeah, that's horrifying. This is tough because we have a right to justice. It's, it's laid out in the Bible, uh, Leviticus. Numbers, Deuteronomy, it's like, you do this, this is your punishment. Yeah. You do this, like an eye for an eye type. Mm. And then Jesus comes on the scene. He's like, well, I didn't come to do away with the law. I came to fulfill it, to show you a, another option, mm. which is turn the other cheek, love your enemy. That's not to discount that you don't have rights. You do have it. Mm. But the better option is, is love, which is hard, <laughs> which yeah. is tough. And especially when you have these conversations with people who haven't gotten justice, who haven't gotten support, who are struggling um, with being violated. <laughs> what is love? Mm. What is turn the other mm. cheek? This person gets to sleep soundly in their bed at night after this egregious thing that they did. And I'm waking up with nightmares. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do with that? I, I think one thing that always helps me whenever I think about these situation situations is that even though the person thinks they got away with it god is just That's right he is our judge and the judgment as we know from the bible is currently happening the books are being opened yeah. like it says in revelation um you know as it says in daniel's chapter eight and nine but that eventually god will call all people Works before him to judgment yep. and there's going to be a judgment and they're going to know what they've done and god says 
enough and they're going to mm. and and that's not something that i want i don't want people to be punished and burn in hell i don't at the same time personally i do want justice and yeah. it's a really difficult balance to have yeah. but we know that whatever happens god judges just justly yeah True. vengeance so, is his yeah, yeah. yeah. Says the that's right it's another verse that says be angry but do not sin mm. and let me tell you when you're angry and when you're in that kind of stage it's like time is blocked like you want to action mm. right now you want judgment right now and that's what the bible said be angry but they cut you off you know it says mm. do not sin mm. yeah. because sin is like you're gonna go kill that's uh, right or you're gonna destroy somebody's life yeah so it's, it's how the bible is like a balance it's hey yeah you can be, i mean it's, it's something natural that's right you can be you know upset about it like we, we you know we're talking about it. you can get upset like are you kidding me i'm gonna go find that guy and we're like what's going on yeah. And, uh, but the Bible said to not sin. That's right. And we need to pray a lot. <laughs> That's yes, right. Right. Yeah. They say never make a decision in Angry. a state of heightened emotion. Yeah. So yeah. let's come up with like three things real fast. Yeah. Three things of like how, how to, what's a good alternative in that moment, in the heat of the moment, you're seeing red. Mm. <laughs> and you, you, it's okay to be angry, but you don't want to sin. So just to be really practical in this, in this moment right now. Mm. Pray. Hit your knees, yeah. Pray. So I was gonna say pray. you have you gotta to. Pray. That's with any sure. temptation. For me, it was addiction and stuff. And I, you know, once God set me free, I was still tempted every day. And in that moment, I said, "Lord, give me the strength not to go in there because everything in me was just gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in there. Um, invest in a really good baseball bat. Go in your backyard, <laughs> swing, scream, get I, it out of you. Yeah. I would say another practical thing is is deep breathing, where you breathe very slowly. This is not anything mystical or anything like that. It's actually taught by Doctor Netley Lower in the heart rate and stuff. yeah in the residential uh, depression anxiety recovery program. He's a Christian physician who runs an amazing program in California. And one of the things he teaches is deep breathing. It's based on science because it's it slows you down, hmm. you know, and it actually helps, it usually helps people to de-stress. Um, so I would say that as well. It's just take a breath, get some oxygen going in your hmm. blood and just, you know, um, and, and that helps you to really take, uh, pause and think about what you're about to do or say. Yeah. Okay, that was a nice scenario. What about, because we just he heard the yeah. news, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was past tense. Yeah. You know, maybe no, they right. have the, the, the news came out yesterday. Okay, so maybe the dad, he was not there. Maybe the dad. It was at school, yeah. was in school, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The dad find out later on, a couple hours later. Yeah, like you're a dad. Okay, what happened when I was right there, right second? Ooh. what's gonna be the reaction oh intervention for sure yeah exactly oh, right but it's hard not to go you know like. i mean i mean it's, it's difficult about you need to protect your family yeah i mean i'm sorry but i'm protecting my family yeah i think in that it's, moment that's I mean, that's right yeah that's we're just. talking about right now like okay that was two hours ago and you find out the news like you know what your daughter or you yeah somebody rape you you know rape some you know and then you know that you, you your anger like oh no i need to go do something yeah but uh, uh in that moment I, I believe it's a different scenario yeah and i'm sure it's gonna be people that are like hey what about this scenario what about this scenario yeah. what are you gonna do about mm -hmm. it but as a as a even as a as, as a lady so you know you have a your child or mm -hmm. your mom or something you see something what you're gonna do oh i guess we're gonna pray i can i'm watching what yeah. they're doing and i mean no you need to be like hey yeah get out of my house or get out from my mom or something like that there, there are some christian Protection. programs that teach self-defense in yeah. case of rape i think yeah. around the corner here at southern adventist university i have one i don't think there's anything wrong with that mm -hmm. you know as long as you're not becoming violent just to attack but if mm -hmm. you are like you know like maybe the, i don't know what they teach maybe they teach like poke them in the eyes or something i don't think there's anything wrong with that kind of self-defense that if you're being groped or raped mm -hmm that there's things you can do so but just yeah don't don't take it into your don't take vengeance into your own yeah. hands yeah. a bonus thing is like um don't be afraid to seek justice and continue right. to seek justice justice is our right mm -hmm. and so jesus didn't come to remove that from us he just, he just said be careful how you go about it or go about mm -hmm. it in a very wise yeah. way yeah. so appeal keep going mm -hmm. speak up like keep it in the forefront of people's minds until mm -hmm. justice is served for that woman and for other victims that are out there and go to therapy 
look for a good Christian therapist. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you.